YouTube channel. This is Babu. And in this tutorial, we only have about 15 minutes to do whatever we need to do. So we're gonna go as fast as we can. So I'm going to open my PRF and load my reference image. Control L to load, and then I'm gonna navigate through my files. And uh, I'm gonna find the reference image here. It is saved as um, as what palm and Accra. Yeah. So this is our reference, and let's look at what's next we need to do. Okay, we've made the plate. Now we are going to make the pub. A lot of people have actually been asking me, how did you make this pub? So 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 and so. You know, it's you'll be surprised how simple it is to make this pub. It's it's very simple, fairly simple. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Um, right here we have our plate, and uh, before we make the pub, I think what I'm gonna do first is okay. I'm going to kind of like hide this reference because I want us to add a material to this plate first and um, as you can see it's just kind of a shiny white color so that's what I'm gonna do but before I do that I want to hide this reference so you can easily hide the reference if you are using PureF by pressing ctrl shift plus B and that's going to hide PureF so if you want to unhide it, we'll do that in a in a jiffy, like very soon. So um this is our plate. I quickly want to give it a material because I want us to do this one after the other. So okay, let's add the material. So I'm gonna go to shading workspace here at the top menu. This is the top menu. If you remember, I explained everything you can see in your screen in the first video I made. <clears throat> So I'm gonna click on new. That is to add a new material. You can also do it here in the properties panel. If you click here, if I add new here, you will see the changes is also done here. So if I click on new now, you can see now we have a new material. So I'm clicking the middle mouse button to pan in the shader editor. The same way you can do it in every editor or window you have in your uh, 3d i mean in blender so <clears throat> i'm going to rename this now to plate so i can rename it here so that you know that this and this are actually linked so i'm going to call this plate so okay and um, currently you have to before you can see the material actually if i put this on solid and I had, let's say, I had a black material. We can't see any material on the plate. Uh, the reason is because you need to be either in material preview to preview your material or you need to be in render view. If you are in render view and probably you are not in EV, by default you should be in EV, but if you are in cycles, this is going to lag a little bit. Or is it lag? I, it's going to actually take time for your project to load and if you try to you know move around you can see some uh, noise so the best thing for you to do when you know if you want to work efficiently you might want to put it at ev so when you put it at ev then you can see what you are doing in real time but if you have a more powerful computer you can put it at in cycles some people work that way but for the sake of simplicity this is not a complex you know uh example and we don't really need to see much details in our 3d viewport so we're just gonna be in either render or you know rendered or uh, material preview so i'm gonna choose material preview and here i'm going to turn this back to white you drag it up to make it white and i think you want to increase the spectacular the spectacular would increase the uh, uh, shyness uh, okay i think rendered mode is the best for us to choose there is this actually shining yet no i don't think so so let's quickly add um, a world uh, you come to world i want to add a world texture if you look at the world right now while we are in rendered mode you can see everywhere is gray 
and so we can add an environment texture so that we can have some light you know in our environment so how to do this is to come to world in properties panel click on this yellow dot which is to pick it allows you to pick a texture from here so to pick environment texture everything will become is this purple okay i think it's purple yeah this it will be purple whenever you see this color in blender it's a red flag it's an indication that there is no texture attached to a certain thing but in this case this is the um, environment so we're gonna click on open i want to open an hdri picture so by default like we have free hdri that you know is inbuilt to blender so you can find them in local you go to program files you look for the blender foundation 2.93 which is the latest version or whatever version you have in thought data files and then look for studio lights and then world and from these options you're gonna pick an option so the one i'm gonna pick is interior interior because of course a plate is going to be inside a house most of the time so now okay uh this environment texture might be getting in our way right now so the only way there's a way actually for you to have the light this environment is casting on this plate but not be able to see the environment itself so the way we can do this is to come to um, render here and uh, look for frame and from frame you want to check transparency so we kind of gonna have um the light the environment is casting so we can see our plate even more clearly instead of having to add multiple lamps lamps to to add light to our scene so we're gonna go to shading and uh, from shading I think okay we turn this on so I want to actually make this plate shiny so why can we make it shiny I think let's turn roughness down spectacular off up rather roughness down and this is going to give you a smoothy shiny plate so this is our plate right here and as simple as ABC so now the next thing for us to do is to um, add the pop so I'm gonna go to the top view and then select the plate press tab to go to edit mode you can also do that from here object and edit so I want to select some faces that would make up the pop uh, if I select from here now if i go to face selection mode i double tap to select the edge loop around the plate uh, if i should try to make the pop with this selection now it means the pop is gonna kind of start from here but i want something to start from here instead of duplicating this and having to scale it up around here what i'm going to do is add additional edge loop to my plate so i'll go to front view you can choose edge loop from um <coughs> your toolbar if you hover around your plate you see this yellow line so you can click try um sorry if you click once then it's gonna add the edge loop and then you can come down and add another one so that we can make the faces equal so i have assigned a shortcut to some of these tools so if i want to select back this um, um select box this first option i can only, i can just press um shift t and it will snap to this option so if you want to add a shortcut as well you can uh, right click on any um icon and then click on add shortcut so right now i have already added shortcut and this is why we can see change 
shortcut option so if you come to another option here let's see this one right here and I right I right click on this option I can assign a new shortcut to, to this one but I already have a shortcut here which is um, shift T I actually thought 15 minutes is going to be enough for us to quickly do whatever we need to do but apparently is not is not even close to enough so what I want us to do right now is select face selection mode remember to select face selection mode because after using an edge loop option after using this edge loop option it's going to snap back to edge selection mode so make sure you return it to face selection and from here make sure this tool is selected or this one probably this move to doesn't really matter but this move to will give you you always see this gizmo in your 3d viewport but if it's getting in your way you can click here and keep going i can hold shift and double click here again to select another edge loop and then until i select the last edge loop but that's gonna take quite some time so i'm not going to do it that way so what i will do is press c and start to paint so if you are painting with c selection mode if you are you know selecting with c selection mode and you try to orbit what's gonna happen is you're gonna start to deselect some faces because to orbit you need to press the mouse wheel button you need to click on the mouse wheel button so now you can't orbit while in selection mode if you would want to orbit if you would have to orbit then you have to escape the selection mode press escape go to whatever view you want you would like to go to and then press c again and continue to select your faces by pretending to paint so um, i'm going to now duplicate this selection now so to duplicate this selection i'm only going to press shift d <coughs> we have the selection press escape to drop it back to where it was if i press g now to grab it you can see that i can actually grab this with d so i want it to go back to where it was i can press escape So now that we have a duplicate, if you go to object mode now, all of these things are still one object. So we want to make them a separate object because the path is actually different from the kit. So I'll go back to edit mode and from edit mode, while we still have this uh, selection, it's, it's our duplicate and it's been still selected, we can press P on our keyboard and separate by selection so if i click this now you can see if you come here you can see we have circle which is the original circle we used to make the plate and now we have a new circle which is the new one we just separated from the old circle so to select the new one you need to go out of the edit mode of the old circle because the plate is still selected okay so now we have two objects here we have this new object if i press g i can grab it and then the old plate so now if i uh let me quickly rename this thing so the, this is the plate it's uh, i'll make sure i select the plate you can come to outliner double click on this and then rename it to plate enter another way you can rename is you can select the path now and press f2 on your keyboard and then rename this to path okay i know you are wondering how is this a path okay just hold on and you would see the magic so now um you come to the modifier if you notice i'm going to add the plate now and if you notice the plate also have some thickness because we added thickness to the plate and we have duplicated part of the plate as the pub which is why we have some thickness because all of the 
settings are still on the play so now we kind of wanna come here and uh, look for solidify modifier so i'm gonna cancel this option now and then we would have <clears throat> um, a flat plate okay so let me quickly change the material of, of this plate so that we don't get i mean to something like yellowish in, in color we might later have to um fine tune the color to give it a better color but right now i just want it to be distinguishable oh so now the plate also if you look at the plates also now i have the same material with the pub the reason being that okay i'll first undo this when i undo this i go back to shading and the reason why the plates also have the same color with with the pub let me unhide the plate if i should change this value now it will change on 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 both the pub and the plate because they share the same material they share the same material remember whatever settings or whatever settings we have on the plate is going to be reflected on any part of it that we duplicated so I'm going to press Ctrl Z again. <clears throat> Make sure the pub is selected. You can check it from here. The pub. Okay. So from here, I want to click this um, option here or here. Here it says two. This means that um, two objects are using this same material called plate. So if I click here, I can duplicate that if i click this drop down you can see we have two plates plate plate 001 okay so i can rename this to pub but before i do that i want to show you that you can do it by clicking here or by clicking this one it's the same thing so i'm going to kind of rename this to pub now this is the material Now that I've renamed this, I can give it a color quickly because we are running out of time. Go back to layout, top view. I can isolate this by hiding the plate. Enter edit mode. I'm going to go to edge selection mode. Select <coughs> this edge loop. Go to front view and i can actually start extruding inward the same way we did for the bottom part but i want us to try something new so what i want us to try is um use um, something we call grid fill so before that i want to change this to vertex selection mode and from vertex selection mode i can press f3 on my keyboard and i can search for grid fill here so the shortcut is ctrl f so when i click on grid fill then blender automatically fills our path this wasn't the way i did my own version i extruded inwards the same way i did to the bottom of the plate if you remember we did the plate eventually when i was sculpting i had some problems with this side this area so i don't think we would have enough time to experiment but i'm going to apply it instead so if you click on this arrow facing down you can see apply but it is not clickable right now so what we can do to make this clickable is because actually it's unclickable because we are in edit mode so we're gonna change this to object mode and if we come back here we can actually apply this the reason why we are applying this is because we needed more edge loops okay what are edge loops i think we've been counting edge loop edge loop and i'm sure some of you might not know what an edge loop is so uh, i'm going to kind of like come to this panel here and find viewport display and i'm going to look for wireframe so the reason why i turn this on is i want you to see what happens when we apply um sub division modifier from this uh panel here this this object data 
is it called uh, yeah i think it's called object data this wireframe i use it a lot so what i did is add it to my quick favorite so how can you do this is you know I, um, the same way you add your shortcut is the same process if you want to add something to your quick favorite so if you right click on any option if you right click on this now you can look for um add favorite i think i've added it to favorite so i'm going to remove it now okay so if i click it again i can say add to quick favorite add to quick favorite and how do you access your quick favorite you you press q as in quick and then you look for wire display here so you can turn it off so because i use it a lot i had it to quick favorite so these are the other things that i've added to quick favorite so now this is the edge loops and watch what happens when we add when we apply sub surface modifier apply and then we have more edge loops we actually need more edge loops in in on our uh, object because in sculpt mode if we don't have enough edge loop we won't be able to um, to sculpt so i can also experiment that for you so before i apply the subdivision i'm just gonna hide it from the viewport so we don't see the effect of the subdivision modifier and then i'll go to sculpting from here and uh, sorry i'll look for sculpting and then from here let's just use the first tool that we have so this tool is called draw you can see it here draw okay so if i start to sculpt right now and i sculpt around this area nothing is going to happen and if i sculpt somewhere we have vertices or edges you can see some changes happening you can see the vertices moving around okay so i'm going to i'm going to press ctrl z and then go back to layout and apply this and now that we have a lot of um a lot of edges and vertices we can go back to sculpting and if i start to sculpt you can see that we can see the effect more more than before but even yet we do not have enough vertices to play with so i'm going to go back to layout mode add a new subdivision modifier where is it subsurface modifier okay so i'm going to apply this one more time if you don't want to do this twice you can increase the numbers here like if i undo these changes now and from this particular moment I, before i actually apply it i can increase the levels in the render to let's say four so that will be double of what we have we had when we use when we apply the subdivision modifier at um, two levels viewport and render so if i apply this you can see that we have more uh, vertices than before so i think this should do and i'm just gonna tell you how to make the pop and in the next tutorial you should have completed it yourself because i don't think we have enough time to go through um, the entire sculpting process uh, but uh, you are just going to need i think just two um, um tools two tools so i'm going to expand this so that i can see uh more of my tools and before i started to sculpt i'm going to unhide the plate and you can see it looks like this thing our pub is actually inside the plate so i'm gonna start sculpting so what I want to do is uh, increase the strength to 1.0 and then I can start to paint. You can see right now we are actually 
pushing the vertices inward but we actually want to put, put, put them outward so I'm going to press ctrl z and then if you choose minus you're gonna start you know pushing them outwards so this is how you are going to sculpt your pap in general so if you want some deep areas while minus is selected you can press ctrl to give you the alternative which is plus so it's going to add you know it's going to push the vertices inward so um i think the reason the original uh setting is that plus is supposed to add not push inward but i think what is happening is in edit mode i think these things are actually facing the wrong direction the faces are facing the wrong direction so i want to quickly check if i am correct if my theory is correct so okay so uh okay red means back why blue means from so the reason why we are seeing red is because is because we are actually seeing the back of the faces of our vert i mean vertices faces and all that i don't know if you you can understand my explanation but um, what i can quickly do is go to edit mode and then i want to recalculate normal so you press shift n and then everything will come blue recalculate normals i think you come to mesh and you find normals and recalculate normals shift n so when you recalculate normals then everything should turn to blue when you press tab again if you go to sculpt mode because if you if you check here we are in edit mode and we are already in sculpt mode in the workspace options so you press tab as shortcut to change from sculpt to uh, edit mode so now um what i used to you know instantly or immediately hide the plate is forward slash on your keyboard so it's we go to local view of the selected object so i'm going to turn off the face orientation here so now when we start sculpting notice that we are still i mean the option here is plus and previously when we started sculpting it was pushing the vertices inward and this time around if we start sculpting it is going to uh, pull them outwards not inwards you can see it pushes them outwards so and if you want the opposite instead of having to come here all the time and you know pull them inwards and then come here pull them outwards you can just you know if you want to pull them inwards you can hold control and then start to paint with your brush so i'm gonna go to top view now you might not be seen properly in the top view maybe it's something like this and then you can start to uh, do something like this and this should kind of give you uh, the path that you are looking for you can see it's fairly easy so I'm just doing this very roughly because I initially planned um, I initially planned 15 minutes for this tutorial and it's even more than 20 minutes so because I don't want to bore you I, I'm going to stop here so and in the next tutorial I want you to complete this pub any way you like you can use the reference image if you want to unhide this image you can press shift ctrl and a and then it will unhide it you can use the reference image you can follow it you know follow your reference image to create whatever you want but if you might have to you know smooth out some part we have smooth option here 
so those are the two uh, options that i want you to use draw and smooth so if i click on smooth now you can see we have strength you can increase or decrease the strength so if i start to smooth now we can smoothen out the roughness that we have on the pub so that's what you need to use you can do however you like actually so i will leave it up to you you can follow the reference do whatever you like and um, i'll do mine as well so in the next tutorial we don't have to kind of like go through the process you know it's tedious so this is the end of the tutorial thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next make sure you subscribe like and comment most importantly share the video so bye bye